Did we like it? Guess you have to wait and see. Hello, everybody. This is Taz. Hope that you're having a really good day. If you're not, please give yourself like 20 seconds, let's say, to just inhale, exhale, and reach an inner calmness. Um, too many people I'm finding out are just always on 20, and they don't give time to just have a little bit of calmness. Uh, everybody can afford 20 seconds. So we care about you on Taz and Philly, so hope that you have the time to respect yourselves, to love yourselves. Not going to get too preachy on that. Just give yourself 20 seconds. So that being said, this is a special reaction because I said so. This is my damn reaction. Um, spoiler alert. I know this song very well. I love this song. Haven't heard it in a while, but I love it nonetheless. But I wanted you all to hear it. Hopefully you'll hear it. Hopefully you won't pass by and be like, I don't know who this person is. We really want you to listen to the unfamiliar and give yourselves a chance because you might say, wow, I really like that. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that a whole bunch of you will come in here and listen. Or maybe you'll surprise me and be like, oh, we know him and love him. So we'll see. Anyway, he goes by the name Daly, uh, which is his last name. I think his first name is Gareth. Yeah. So Daly, he's a British singer songwriter. Um, he's really swag. That's a word that I love to use when somebody's just smooth and and cool and stuff like that. So he's very swagadocious. Um, he's uh, like R and B soulish type, um, and you know, like I said, singer songwriter. This is a song called "Remember Me." He's doing it featuring the awesome Jesse J. Love me some Jesse J too. Like her vocal pipes are like trimmed in chrome and gold. Like love her and i just love everything about her so he's also collaborated with um pharrell and um uh maria ambrosia and um some others that i forget off the top of my head but yeah so he's collaborated with some really amazing successful people so hope you like this please support the musicians we encourage that all the time even if you can't buy his music uh then do the gift of free so this is Daly's um, YouTube channel. As you see, I've already subscribed, um, but I'm hitting like because I'm reacting to the song for the first time. Please make sure that you do that. The links will be in the descriptions to make it easier for you to just go right there and support Daly, but then support us second. Please help us out. Subscribe to us. Help us through these treacherous YouTube algorithms. And it just let us know you love us and help us to grow. So thank you so much for that. Um, Let's get into this song again. Hope that you like it. I'll commentate more afterwards. Here we go. <laughs> Swag. So you confess to all the ways you can see. Now you feel regret.
that, boys and girls, is some good music. That is what I mean as an example of swag, swagadocious, like smooth, fluidity, really in the pocket. I hope that you can feel that and stuff too. Like those are the type of songs that I really, really like. Um, he has so much swag. Like what else can I say? Like so hopefully that you love that song. I mean, and it's an important song. Like it's like, because, you know, I say sometimes that, you know, there's songs out there that are always about love and everything's happy and everything's wonderful. But there's also some other stuff out there, some ish, some bad stuff going on. So this one is the opposite. This is when a wonderful relationship went wrong and there's heartbreak. And he's the one, if you can hear in the lyrics, he's the one that's been heartbroken. So he's saying, I hope you'll remember me, um, you know, and hopefully feel regretful about what they've done. So it's just all about regret and about a failed type of relationship. So. I love how they have songs like that, too, because these are realistic things. There are people who have broken up in relationships, and the one who is broken, heartbroken, is saying that to the other person. Hopefully that they're regretful. Hopefully they'll even learn from their sins, and hopefully the next person will see a better version of them. I don't know. Or maybe you just don't give a damn. You damn them to hell. Like It depends on what, how severe the breakup was. So I'm all about all of those. So I just love songs that are relatable and things of that nature whether it's good or bad if it's something that you can relate to or maybe someone that you know can relate to it so maybe you can send them that song but listen to this song and it could change them and help heal them or whatever you never know so really really loved it let us know you already know i love it so you know this thumbs going all the way up so thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up on top of the fact that i just love jesse J. she's also swag uh love her too might do some reactions to her as well so this intention was to share this with you, share something that Taz loves. Hopefully you will say, oh, I heard it daily. I love his music. Or you'll say, I never heard of him in my life, but now I wish I did. And let us know in the comments. Hope that he gets some exposure here because we're all about giving exposure to artists, big or small. We're all about music appreciation. If you come to this channel, that means you love music. So show it by liking it and commenting to it and spreading the love to other social media sites. That's all I can say. So anyway, this is Taz with Taz in Philly. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>